negative internal experiences can impact how well your organization operates and also affect how well our external customers are treated. When there's ongoing friction between coworkers, sometimes it's necessary to involve a manager. However, there's a process to help you resolve internal service issues and possibly prevent the need for escalation. When used properly, this method can help you maintain a positive workplace atmosphere. It'll improve work relationships without always needing to drag managers into the situation. It's known as the BIF approach. Here's an example of an internal conflict issue. Logan, do you have any idea how loud that is? Turn it down, will ya? That wasn't handled very well, was it? We're going to learn a better way to deal with that. It's a technique that will help you resolve conflicts. Again, it's known as the BIF approach. Let's examine each step of the BIF approach letter by letter. B, behavior. First, describe the behavior. Use specific facts or an objective description. And that's important to keep from asking questions that will put the other person on the defensive and possibly start an argument before we even get to the point. Next is I for impact. Describe the effects that the behavior is having on you. How is it impacting your job and your performance? And finally, F for feelings. Tell how the behavior and the impact cause you to feel. Now stop and listen and let the other person absorb what you've said. Often that silent period will result in the other person apologizing or even suggesting a solution. Let's watch an example. Excuse me, Logan. That music is really distracting. It's making it difficult for me to hear and concentrate. It's embarrassing for me because I needed to ask my customer to repeat herself several times. Now Keisha stops to let Logan absorb what was said. And did you notice that she spoke in a very even-tempered way? That calm delivery sets the tone of the conversation. If she was angry or attacking in her manner, it's likely the other party would mirror that and respond in the same angry way. And then you have a conflict, not a solution. Also notice, she's not telling the other person what to do. Keisha didn't command, hey, turn that down. She wasn't ordering him around. That would only irritate somebody we're trying to get to cooperate with us. Be aware that the BIF approach won't solve every coworker issue you encounter, but in many situations it will work and help reduce the need for getting a manager involved. Plus, it's a great feeling to know you diffused a situation professionally. Using the BIF approach will help you resolve conflicts.